Have you been keeping up with Simone Biles lately? She's seriously unstoppable. Biles burst onto the scene at the 2013 World Championships and has been breaking records ever since. She's won a mind-blowing 25 World Championship medals, 19 of which are gold. Can you believe that? No one in history has ever done that. And then, of course, there are her Olympic medals, seven in total, with four golds from the 2016 Rio Olympics. She's known for doing the impossible, like her signature moves, the Biles and Biles 2 on the floor exercise, and the Biles on the vault. These moves are so difficult that other gymnasts don't even attempt them. After taking some time off to focus on her mental health, which was a huge deal in the sports world, Biles came back stronger and more determined than ever. She didn't just rest on her laurels, she kept pushing herself, adding even more complexity to her routines. Her focus on mental health has also inspired so many athletes to speak up and take care of their own well-being. It's really amazing to see how she's balancing both the mental and physical aspects of the sport. Really powerful and dynamic and brings that to this event especially. Gearing up for three flips right in a row. Handspring layout, layout. Boom. Over the weekend, Simone Biles clinched her record ninth all-around title at the U.S. Gymnastics Championships. That's right, ninth. She scored a total of 119.750, which is just insane. And get this, she swept every single individual event. That's bars, beam, floor, and vault. It's like she's in a league of her own. On the floor exercise, she scored a 15.1 despite stepping out of bounds on her first tumbling pass. Can you imagine scoring that high with a mistake? That's how good she is. On the balance beam, she nailed a 14.8, making it look like she was performing on flat ground instead of a 4-inch wide beam. Then there's the vault. Her Yurchenko double pike, which is also known as the Biles 2, was a bit overcooked and she ended up rolling onto her back but she still scored a 15, which was the highest of the night. Her second vault, a Ching, was almost perfect, with just a small step on the dismount. Through this bar routine, very little pressure on her, but always a good opportunity. Smooth release moves. She has such an efficient bar routine. And let's not forget the uneven bars. Biles scored a 14.4 with a routine that included an upgraded dismount, a double twisting, double somersault. Even though she had a minor step on landing, she still topped the charts. It's no wonder she ended the night with a combined total of 29.050, putting her in first place ahead of Sky Blakely. What makes Simone's new routine stand out is not just the difficulty, but the sheer creativity and innovation. Biles has always been known for pushing the envelope, but this time, she's taken it to a whole new level. She's incorporated moves that no one else even dares to try. There's a fluidity and confidence in her performance that's mesmerizing. It's like she's saying, I'm not just here to win, I'm here to redefine what's possible in gymnastics. And let's be real. Who else could pull off a routine that leaves both the judges and the audience in awe, thinking, we've never seen anything like this before? She opens with a move that's become her signature, a triple twisting double somersault, also known as the Biles 2. It's one of the most difficult skills in gymnastics, and she executes it with such precision and power. Next, she seamlessly transitions into a series of intricate dance elements and leaps, that showcase her incredible flexibility and control. Each move flows perfectly into the next, making it look almost like a dance performance rather than a series of high difficulty skills. One of the standout moments is her new dismount on the uneven bars, a double twisting, double somersault. This upgrade is not only more difficult, but also adds a wow factor that leaves the audience gasping. When you compare this routine to her previous ones, the advancements in difficulty are clear. In her earlier routines, Biles was already performing skills that were at the highest level of difficulty, but this new routine has raised the bar even higher. She's incorporated more complex twists and somersaults, and the transitions between elements are smoother and faster. Taking you back to the effort on the uneven bars and what took place for Simone Biles. 
in what is, admittedly, the movie cut back, the weakest quote unquote well, all in perspective of the film for her. You know, she had a mistake in the warm up, and sometimes that can rattle you because it was this skill right here. She fell off in the warm up. There, she was a little bit too close. Immediately went into this skill, and that's where it all went wrong. Back in 2018, she also swept all titles at nationals. But this routine shows her growth and evolution as a gymnast. It's like she's taken everything she's learned and built on it, creating a routine that's not just about difficulty, but also about artistry and performance quality. What's also interesting is how she's managed to maintain her high level of difficulty while ensuring she has fewer deductions. Even with minor mistakes, like stepping out of bounds on the floor or being a bit off center on her dismount, her scores remain exceptionally high because of the overall difficulty and execution of her routines. One commentator said, Simone Biles is redefining the sport with every routine. Another expert noted, the precision and power in her performances are something we've never seen before. She's setting a new standard in gymnastics. Simone Biles' preparation goes beyond just physical training. She's been very open about the importance of mental health. Leading up to the competition, she made sure to attend her therapy sessions weekly, focusing on staying mentally and physically healthy. She often talks about how mental health is just as crucial as physical fitness, especially in a high-pressure sport like gymnastics. Biles emphasized a balanced approach to training. She incorporates rest and recovery into her routine, ensuring she's not just physically ready, but also mentally prepared to handle the stress of competition. This holistic approach is what keeps her at the top of her game. Simone Biles isn't just a competitor, she's a leader and mentor to her teammates. When Sunisa Lee had a tough fall during her vault performance, Biles was right there to support her. She knows firsthand how traumatizing it can be to have a mistake on such a big stage. So she took the time to talk to Lee, offering encouragement and advice. Biles' influence extends beyond her own performances. Her leadership and mentorship have a significant impact on her teammates and the broader gymnastics community. She's always willing to share her experiences and help others navigate the pressures of the sport. This support system not only helps her teammates perform better, but also strengthens the entire team dynamic. She's got some seriously ambitious goals, and it's going to be amazing to watch. Biles is aiming to add more Olympic gold medals to her already impressive collection. She's already a four-time Olympic champion, but she's not done yet. For Paris, she's focusing on perfecting her routines and possibly introducing new, even more difficult elements. She's mentioned that she wants to keep challenging herself and setting new standards in gymnastics. Can you imagine what new moves she might unveil? It's going to be incredible. Another goal for Biles is to maintain her physical and mental health throughout the journey. She's been really open about the importance of mental well-being, especially after her experience in the Tokyo Olympics, when she had to withdraw from several events. For Paris, she's making sure to balance intense training with mental health practices, like regular therapy sessions. It's great to see her taking such a holistic approach to her preparation. She's already considered the greatest gymnast of all time, but what she's doing now is cementing that status even further. By competing in Paris, she's showing that longevity in gymnastics is possible. And not just longevity, but dominating the sport for over a decade. That's something we haven't really seen before at this level. Imagine the records she could break if she wins more medals in Paris. She could become the most decorated gymnast in Olympic history. But beyond the medals, her influence on the sport is profound. Younger gymnasts look up to her, not just for her skills, but for her resilience her advocacy for mental health, and her leadership. Even after the Paris Olympics, it's exciting to think about what Biles might achieve. Whether she decides to compete further or focus on other aspects of her life, like coaching or advocacy, her impact will continue to be felt. She's already done so much to bring attention to important issues like mental health in sports, and she could take on even bigger roles in these areas. So, what are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comments below.